Greetings and welcome to this part of Let's Play The Journeyman Project Turbo. I'm Leo and we are about to delve into the finer mechanics of time travel. Well, uh, let's first do the background. The Particle Accelerating Space-Time Transporter Version 1, otherwise known as Pegasus, was the brainchild of part-time historian, full-time physicist, Elliot Sinclair. In 2311, after seeing Sinclair's time-bending experiments, the government contracted him to build a full-scale operational time machine. The purpose of this device was to explore our past, as well as to discover the truth behind many disputed historical events. Just four years after the project was begun, the world's first time machine underwent its first test run. However, due to mounting concerns by individuals who believed that the machine would be used not only to explore history, but also to alter it, the test run would be the first and last time that the machine would be used for research purposes. The project was discontinued, and Sinclair was forbidden to ever work on time distortion projects again. Time travel now being a reality, the government secretly set up the Temporal Security Annex, as a means to safeguard history from sabotage. You, the members of the Temporal Protectorate, are among the very few who know of its existence. Right, you may notice that the video, uh, while looking fine enough, is a little bit uh, stretched in the wrong direction. I'm not entirely sure what's caused, but what causes this. I can only assume it's a mistake uh, by the makers themselves. You can see the same effect here by the light. Well, we'll live with it. It doesn't really uh, change much. Alright, let's hear the theory. The simplest analogy for the theory of time travel is that of a tunnel in time. When someone travels through time, a tunnel is created which originates when travel is begun and ends when the traveler lands. If some event in the past is altered, theory states a rip occurs in the fabric of time, which gives rise to a temporal chain reaction. This chain reaction takes the form of a reality distortion wave and could take anywhere from a few seconds to several hours to reach the present. Of those who aren't uncreated when the distortion wave hits, many will suddenly have a new life and the past as we know it will cease to exist. Traveling back in time before the distortion wave hits, though, allows an agent to jump over the distortion wave and escape its effects. Convenient. So as a member of the Temporal Protectorate, you alone will have the ability to jump back in time and prevent the corruption from ever happening. And to ensure that it doesn't happen again, you'll have to discover the source of this disruption and bring it to a halt. Alright. Sounds like an important task. Alright, as soon as I uh, start the procedure, we set in motion a chain of events that will cause the game to progress quite quickly. <sighs> so I'm just mentally preparing myself for that. Alright, let's hear it. What's the procedure when there a temporal distortion wave is heading our way? In the event that it becomes necessary to restore the proper course of history, the procedure is as follows. As quickly as possible, get to the ready room and use the bio support suit generator. The bio support suit is an indispensable element of the time travel process and is essential for your protection. Next, get your assigned mapping and Pegasus biochips and the journeyman key from the cabinet next to the biosuit generator. The Pegasus biochip is your link to Pegasus. It is what allows you to be pulled back to the present at the touch of a button. After you're outfitted for travel, but before the reality distortion wave reaches the present, you must jump to the year 200 million BC. Upon arriving there, use the journeyman key to open the storage vault and obtain the journeyman historical log. Since it exists 
at a point in time previous to any likely temporal changes. This disk serves as a source of unaltered historical information. To discover how history has been changed, head back to the Temporal Security Annex and insert the journeyman disk into the computer. It will be cross-referenced with the historical log which was left behind to be altered by the reality distortion wave. Knowing how, when, and where the past was changed should give you the information you need to restore the proper flow of history. A word of caution, though. Time is very sensitive to change. In order to keep from altering history worse than it already has been, try to solve the problems you encounter without changing anything. As a rule, a temporal protectorate agent should never interfere with any events of the past. Never leave anything behind that came from a different time. Never remove any historically important objects from a time zone. And above all else, an agent should never interact with beings from another time zone. Alright, that sounds like sensible advice. Alright, we're done with this. Now let's just sit back and enjoy the rest of our shift. Ah, oh, crud. Of course, just when I'm on duty. One, one, Alright, we can see the distortion wave heading our way. It will hit us quite fast quickly and believe it or not, that's actually the first way to die in this game. Technically. Once that distortion wave hits, Agent 5 is unmade and doesn't exist anymore. Now there are many ways to die in this game, uh, so I'm not really gonna bother showing them unless they actually happen. Alright, proceed to test. Put, put on the suit first and then get the chips, but screw that, screw procedure. I want the chips first. And the key. Right, the Pegasus chip and the mapping chip. And then we need to go back. And enter the machine. I have the happiest clothes imaginable. The alarm sound is looping a bit. Configuring bio supports and parameters. Stand by for bio encapsulation. Well, that was painless. Alright, let's get to Pegasus. And again, suddenly the alarm quits. It looks impressive. How does it work? Oh. Slot in agent in tab B. Alright, this is also slot to happen. Swiveled around. Mm. Alright, lock on to the time zone, which is 2 billion BC or something like that. And 
Select a destination from the listing on the left monitor. Will do. And let's go! Oh, I'm getting nauseous. Alright, we're in the past. Close to an active volcano, by the looks of it. Alright, let's activate our natural biochip. Large carnivorous life forms detected. Caution is advised. Oh. Oof. Well, pterodactyls aren't carnivorous, are they? Well, we have to hurry anyway, because uh, if our energy reaches zero, we're stuck here. Jurassic Park! Hey, look! The Journeyman Project symbol... thingy. Alright, I think that's where our key goes. Here's the disc. I do wonder though, when do they leave this disc here? I mean, do they have to update it every day? Or perhaps every hour or something? Oh well, let's go home. Temporal rib status is resolved. Jump! And all of a sudden we're back here. I have to wait until this animation ends. And now we need to go back to the control room to Check one historical lock against the other to see what has been changed. Does make me wonder though. Is there ever a time event that could happen that would make sure that the temporal annex gets never gets built? Then how would you come back? Unless it's of course some sort of temporal paradox that the TSA always exists as long as there is an agent active to return to it. I'm probably thinking too much. This is a time travel game. Just enjoy it and don't think about it too much. In 
insert log disk to initiate historical reconfiguration and comparison. Now, how would this computer know how time has changed if it has changed with the time? Anyway, apparently we have a rift at uh, 2112, 2185, and 2310. Let's put the disk in. And I need to put in the final code. Well, if one thing to talk about, what I kind of like in this time travel game is that you don't actually get to travel back into a point in time which is historically significant for some bloody reason. We're going back into future history, which is much more interesting to me anyway, because then you can make up anything you bloody well wish. Anyway, I'm gonna make it a special treatment uh, this way around. In that before each mission I'm gonna display the uh, unaltered and altered footage of uh, relevant to that mission. Um, and not show it all right here. That way you will know uh, have the most relevant information directly before the mission if you need it. Yeah, it sounds more it sounds better in my head, but this is how I'm gonna do it. So I will see you all after I've done this and get am set for the next mission. Till then.